up guys it's kelly and today i've got another swatch review for you so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos and let's get started so today i am super excited to partner up with picture polish to share with you guys some brand new picture curable shades so if you guys don't know what picture curable is it is actually a brand created by picture polish which is an australian independent nail polish brand and picture curable is actually their curable lacquer line i've done a whole video explanation slash review of it so you can check that out in the cards if you are interested but basically it's sort of a hybrid between being regular nail polish and being gel so it actually requires a special lamp this one's called the spaceship which is the best name ever it's a very cool concept i highly recommend checking out the video if you don't know about picture curable already but yeah we've got 11 brand new shades to go over today so yeah let's just jump right into the swatches i've got a lot to share so roll footage so we'll start off with this first shade taupe which as you can imagine from the name is a a pinky leaning taupe cream shade now this one to me actually feels a little bit more like a hybrid between being a taupe color and being a light mauve color I really do like that cool undertone I think it works really well and even though I am very warm toned I think it actually looks really nice on me as well the formula is super easy to work with and the best part about it as with curable polishes you can take as much time as you need to make sure that the nail is looking really perfect Perfect. One thing that I absolutely love about shades that cure instead of drying by air is since I can work a lot slower, I really don't have to do cleanup with a cleanup brush. It's just a lot easier to work with. So here it is in two coats. I love the way it looks. Next up, we have the shade Latte, and this is actually another beigey kind of color, but this one has a very yellow undertone to it. So I would say Taupe and Latte are kind of like sister shades here, where one of them is a cool toned version and one of them is the warmer toned version. Again, we have a really nice two coat formula here. Actually, I'm pretty sure all of the ones that I am showing you guys today, I did in two coats. Some of them are actually opaque in the first coat though, which is pretty impressive. But yeah, we just have another really great neutral cream shade here. I think it looks gorgeous on the nails. It's nice and warm. I feel like there's almost a little bit of like an olivey undertone to it as well. So I think it would just be really universally flattering. Next up, we have the shade Vintage and this one is actually a shimmery, I want to say copper metallic shade. This is actually the only one that I'm reviewing today that's not a cream and oh my gosh I was so wowed by this formula. First of all you can see just how incredible that coverage is in the first coat. I still had a little bit of visible nail line but I thought it was just so easy and workable. It was a very smooth thin application. It didn't feel thick at all and it did have a little bit of that brush strokiness but the brushes are wide and flat so they're really easy to kind of smooth down and since you are curing the layer like I said you don't have to worry about it drying you can take as much time as you want to kind of make sure that those brush stroke lines are nice and even and I absolutely love that effect on my nails I think it just makes them look honestly a little bit longer next up we have the shade melon which is the perfect name for this color because I feel like this is the bright pinky watermelon color of my dreams it does have that cream finish as with the majority of the shades that I'm reviewing today and again we just have such a nice formula this color is so bright and beautiful it almost feels a little bit neon but it's not quite so if you're not ready for a neon on your nails just yet I think this is a really good compromise it's just so bright and warm it really makes me want summer and it also really makes me want watermelon <laughs> But yeah, again, just an incredible formula. This was two coats on the nail and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous on. So you can see when I was applying it, I was covering a little bit of the light. So it looked a little bit more deep and neon, but this is the true color of the polish. But if you are looking for a neon, then this next shade pinkish is for you. And this is a stunning bright neon icy pink cream shade. And oh my gosh, this one was a one coat coverage for me. I have I've never used a neon that had such an incredible formula. I am just absolutely overwhelmed with this polish. It's incredible. It was so easy to work with. I ended up doing two coats, even though honestly, this was a one coater on me. It does dry to a slightly matte finish. Now I do always recommend using top coat on your manicure if you want your polish to last longer anyway, but personally, I also kind of like this matte vibe. I just think this is a really cute color. Next up, we have the shade Delicate, which is a little bit of a departure from all of these bright neons. This is what I would call a medium, warm, dusty rose cream shade. So it does have a little bit of a dustiness to it. I think this is one of those shades that's really universally flattering. 
patterning. It's kind of like one of those office appropriate colors that still has a little bit of brightness and fun to it. It did give me perfect two coat coverage. Like I keep saying, the formula was just really easy to work with. So really these polishes apply just like regular nail polish, even though they are curable lacquers. So you do have to cure them in between each layer, but I find the application process to be so easy. I just really couldn't even tell I was using a curable polish. Next up, we have the shade Plummy, which is a really beautiful orchid pinky purple kind of shade here. Actually, should I call this a fuchsia shade? It's not neon, but it is kind of a fuchsia. So this one actually ended up having a little bit of a jelly-like consistency to it. So as you can see on the first coat, it was pretty smooth and self-leveling, but there was a little bit of that visible nail line. Now you can just do one coat if you like that look. Personally, I do in some cases, but it ended up giving me actually full coverage on the second coat, which I was really happy with. So this color is just really beautiful. I think it feels like a nice springy color to me. So I'm definitely going to be wearing this one this season. I just think it's a really good one. Next up, we have another neon shade. This one's called magenta, but I would classify this one as a neon fuchsia. So it's got that really beautiful pinky purple coloring to it. It's that cream finish. And again, it just had such an easy workable formula. It was a little bit sheer in the first coat for me, but it ended up giving me full coverage in two. And again, we had that situation where it dried to that slightly satiny matte sort of finish. And like I said, I actually really like that vibe. I feel like it's a very cool look especially in the summer. And you guys know that I like to mattify everything, <laughs> but you can always top this off with a glossy top coat. I'm actually unrelated a little bit, but I am getting some of the picture polish matte top coat, which I've never tried before. So stay tuned for a review on that. Not part of the curable lacquer line, but part of the picture polish line. Next up, we have the shade mauve, which I think is an interesting name for this shade because I would classify this as more of an orchid or a lavender shade. And this one was a really interesting formula. Again, very easy to work with and very smooth, but it did have a little bit of that jelly-like finish on the first coat, meaning it just felt super high gloss, but a little bit on the sheer side. But I did end up getting full coverage in the second coat, and I thought it looked absolutely gorgeous on. You guys know I can't resist a good purple polish, and this one feels a little bit in that territory of being a neon pastel. It's not quite a neon, it's not quite a pastel, but it's something in between, and I think it just works really well. I personally love the way that it looks on every skin tone and I think it usually makes me look a little bit tanner but I am especially pale this time of year so I'm not sure if this is helping my cause at all. Next up we have the shade bluish and this one as you can guess from the name is a bright blue cream shade. Again we started off with a somewhat sheer first coat but I ended up getting full coverage in two and I thought that this color was so bright. I really loved it. I thought on the first coat that it was going to be more of a pastel kind of shade but it ended up just being such a vibrant color on the nails and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Again, definitely getting strong spring slash summer vibes here, so I know I'm going to be reaching for this one a lot as well. And last but definitely not least, we have the shade Audrey, which is your classic light minty Tiffany blue kind of color. And this one actually had the same type of formula as bluish. It was a little bit sheer on the first coat, but it ended up giving me full coverage in two. And I think it actually looked a little bit brighter on the second coat in terms of color vibrance, but I would classify this one as a pastel that almost leans a little bit neon, but was still definitely in the pastel territory. Again, just a really gorgeous, soft, springy kind of color here. And I was really impressed that it did give me full coverage in two coats because I thought it was going to be a three coater on me, but I was pleasantly surprised. So here are all of these shades that I reviewed together. You can see we've got a lot of nice pinky vibes going on here and it feels like there are a lot of different options. So, you know, we have the more soft, subtle kind of colors. We have the bright neons, we have the warmer tones, we have the cooler tones, and then we also have some of those beautiful neutral shades on the top. And then we have some purples and blues on the bottom there. So overall, a really nice collection of new colors and I was really happy with the formulas. So those are the brand new shades from the Picture Curable line. Overall, I'm actually really impressed. The cool thing that I love about this line of polishes is 
is they really apply like regular nail polish and they last like gels and they also remove like regular nail polish so it's basically just like having a curable long-lasting nail polish which I think is a really awesome concept. I might also be a little bit biased because the fact that they call their lamp the spaceship you guys know I love space and anything related space words just makes me want to buy it so I'm on board with it. But yeah overall I just feel like the formula is so easy and workable. There are a lot of great gel brands that I feel like apply similar to regular nail polish but these to me just really feel like nail polish like they don't feel like a gel at all. They're not that sort of thick formula that you expect from gels. It's just a really easy very beginner friendly experience so I definitely really enjoy that. So these polishes are available on the picture polish website which I will link down below. They all come in the standard 10 milliliter opaque bottle so you can't see through because the polishes are curable. They're also vegan and they are cruelty free as well. So yeah I'm curious to hear what you guys think of these. Which color is your favorite? Are you planning on picking any of these up? Are you a fan of the picture curable system? Let me know in the comments. You know I love to chat with you guys. If you enjoy my swatch review video please give this one a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And that is it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Stephanie Rose and Stephanie wants to know, what is your favorite kids movie? So I feel like there are three top movies. I don't know if they're technically considered kids movies. I guess they are, but they're all animated. To me, these three movies are 10 out of 10 top movies of all time. Can't get enough of them. Two of them I watched as a kid and grew up loving them. And then one of them is a recent favorite. So number one is Frozen. I think that story is incredible. Two is The Lion King. I did grow up watching that. I loved it. I always cried during that movie. Not the part where Mufasa dies, but when Simba and I'll fall in love. That just for some reason really gets me. Like I'm just like, ah, oh, love is real. And it's just very emotional for me. And then number three is a highly underrated movie that I feel like nobody ever talks about. And that is The Emperor's New Groove, which is the best movie of all time. It's extremely funny. It's hilarious. If you guys haven't seen The Emperor's New Groove, What's wrong with you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but if you haven't seen it, you really need to watch that movie because it's extremely funny. David Spade is in it, Patrick Warburton is in it, John Goodman is in it, and it's just a hilarious, hilarious movie about an emperor who gets turned into a llama. And it's just, I don't know, it's just a classic. That was a movie that I watched so many times growing up and as an adult it hasn't lost any of its hilarity. Like I just recently watched that and I was cracking up, like honestly crying with laughter because that's such a good movie. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.